Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, we'll explore solving geometry problems with polynomials so that you'll have ultra scores in your exams. This topic is quite interesting since we're getting closer to real world applications of polynomial operations. I'm assuming that you are watching this video because you already understand basic polynomial operations such as polynomial addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and also polynomial special case products. But in case you don't know these yet, then be sure to click the i button to view our playlist for the polynomial series. You can also find the link in the description below. These math exercises or puzzles are designed to stimulate your brain and expand your mental faculties so that real-life math applications will become a piece of cake for you. There will be a 3-second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first, and then continue playing the video to see if you're correct. Alright! Let's start solving geometry problems with polynomials and understand the basics of applying polynomial operations on geometry. Since this is a rectangle, start by identifying and labeling its length and width. The area of a rectangle is equal to its length times its width. Substitute the values of the length and width. It might not be as obvious for beginners, but this actually follows the pattern for difference of squares, but with x equal to a plus b and y equal to c squared. Its product is x squared minus y squared. So, substitute a plus b for x and substitute c squared for y. Simplify the expression. And the final answer is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus c raised to 4. Start by identifying and labeling the length and width of the big rectangle. The width is equal to 3z. Pretty straightforward, right? And the length is equal to 2y plus x. The area of any rectangle is equal to its length times its width. Substitute the values of the length and width. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials and expand the equation. And the final answer? 6yz plus 3xz. Label the given side of the cube. From geometry, since all sides of a cube are equal, its volume is equal to the cube of the value of its side. Substitute x plus 5 for the side in the volume equation. The equation can be written as x plus 5 times x plus 5 squared. Now, do you recognize a pattern we can use? You can expand x plus 5 squared using the perfect square trinomial add times add pattern. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials and expand the equation. Continue simplifying the equation using polynomial addition by combining like terms. And the final answer is x cubed plus 15x squared plus 75x plus 125. Start by labeling all six sides of the irregular shape. The perimeter of this irregular shape is the sum of all six sides. 
although there is no given value for side D, you can find it by projecting the length of both sides B and C in a single vertical line. And if you think about it, side D is actually just the sum of sides B and C. And finding the expression for sides E and F can be done similarly like in the previous step. By projecting the length of both sides E and F in a single horizontal line, you'll find that their sum is equal to the length of side A. Now that we have algebraic expressions for sides D, E, and F, we can now work on finding the perimeter in terms of X. Substitute D for B plus C and substitute A for E plus F. Substitute 3x plus 4 for A and substitute 2x plus 7 for D. Continue simplifying the equation using polynomial addition by combining like terms. And the final answer is 10x plus 22. Label the given sides of the rectangular box. The volume of any rectangular box is the product of its length, width, and height. Substitute the values of the length, width, and height in the volume equation. And observe that you have x plus 4 squared. You can expand x plus 4 squared using the perfect square trinomial add times add pattern. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials and expand the equation. Continue simplifying the equation using polynomial addition by combining like terms. And the final answer is x cubed plus 14x squared plus 64x plus 96. And that's it! I hope you learned a lot in the ninth video of our animated polynomial series. As you get closer to real-life applications of mathematics, the previous techniques you've learned start to blend and you gain flexibility in solving them. And if you're missing basic but vital techniques, then they become roadblocks in your math journey. The good thing about this though is that you can always go a level or two down and master them. And that is actually our topic for the next video. Why you are bad at math. Rather than additional techniques, this will focus on your learning mindset so that you know what to do whenever you experience roadblocks in mathematics. So be sure to subscribe to teach me animated math. And don't miss out. See you next time!